Here's a very quick video to show you the latest pond that we've done. Um, very quick because it's windy and starting to rain. Beautiful British weather. This is a pond approximately nine foot by nine foot along the straight edges. Approximately two foot deep in the middle of there. And in there there's a 2,500 litre an hour pump supplying the cascade which is in the raised bed that we built up and there's also a Filtral 5000 filter and pump a like combined unit thing with the UV in that keeps the water clear although it's none too clear now I've just put some plants in this morning The liner in here is one mil butyl rubber, uh, well it's actually firestone rubber, not, not strictly butyl, millimetre thick firestone rubber over a polyester underlay and the raised bed here was built up with blocks over a concrete foundation and then it was faced off with dry stone wall which is actually cemented between the, the, the dry stone and the blocks. It gives it a dry stone effect, but it gives it the stability of a standard wall. The capping that goes all the way around is just sandstone, same as the wall and stone, which was hand cut to a roughly semicircular sort of a shape and cemented on in the vertical position. Um, just so it mirrors what you see all around the UK, more so in the north, I suppose, uh, in the way of dry stone walls. The Cascade was built, cemented together again with cement over rubber and underlay. All of that's obviously hidden. And the edging stones were again sandstone. If you notice, they're sitting on more dry stone walling. I tend to allow an extra shelf inside the pond and I build that up with a dry stone wall. It hides the liner, it stops the sides from caving in, and it also gives support for your edging stones. Means that the water can water levels can fluctuate and you don't see the line around the edges. The raised bed is going to be planted up with dwarf conifers and probably heathers. Um, but seeing as it's not not pond things that's not my jurisdiction. I tend to just stick to the ponds. So that's it. Brief video of our latest pond. If you like it, click the thumbs up button. Put any comments on, I'll answer any questions you've got. No worries. Thanks for watching.